Hello and welcome to Teal House Farm. Today Hi. we are going to put in the bulk amount of muscle work in getting our container garden built because it is almost time to get planting. So if you missed our last video, we are extending our in-ground garden to include a container garden section, which I am hoping will reduce some of the work on me this year being pregnant right through garden season. <clears throat> It's an L-shaped area. It's 10 feet on the short side, 20 feet on the longer side, and 17 that way. So you can kind of do the math from there. And today we need to finish laying down cardboard. I'm laying down cardboard to keep the grass down. It's not essential for a container garden because the container should really help control weeds from um, coming in around the plants. But I want it to still look nice. I feel like a lot of the things we do around here is just about as doing it as cheaply as possible and it tends to look a little bit junky. Our greenhouse, for example. So the container garden, I really want something that not only works, because the greenhouse works great, but I would like something that looks nice. So I'm putting down cardboard today and then we're going to put some straw or mulch on top of that to hide the cardboard that should keep the grass from growing around the pots, which means I don't have to. Don't forget and we'll talk to you later. <laughs> so I don't have to weed whack or Sam doesn't have to weed whack or have it taught or have it constantly look like a meadow in there around our pots. So that's the plan. So we're gonna get that cardboard down. We're going to set up most of the fence and Sam went to town to pick up a bunch of tires from a friend that we're going to use as our potato planters and we'll get those set out where we want them. small area still not covered I ran out of boxes I had an old tarp that's got some holes in it that we can use um, but I have a we ordered a desk for our room for like a computer and stuff and so that should be coming on Monday and I'm hoping it comes in a really big box and that should kind of patch up my last hole um, Sam is in town at work and he's gonna be coming back with those tires I also gonna have him pick up some straw bales for me so we can really get this started getting set up Okay, day three. We went to the store, got some stuff. We are ready to finish. Yes. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. We're not done yet. Let's go uh, see what we got. So, we got all our tires there, but we have to finish covering the garden. So I bought a big roll of landscaping fabric. Uh, it's 150 foot and my plan is to use just a little bit to fill in the hole where I just didn't have enough cardboard instead of waiting for that really big box to come because I just want to finish my project today and then the rest of it I'm actually going to use for planting a new strawberry bed in hopes that it'll make the weed control a lot easier and then I went ahead and I just picked up my seed potatoes so we're gonna do some red potatoes and tires as well as as well as some Yukon Golds. On the end there.
Whoa, did I measure that right or did I measure that right? That's exactly what I wanted. Because now somebody, I wonder who, can fashion me a gate for that other side. Okay. All right, we did it. I have uh, four more tires coming and I have all the pots I'm going to use and the large cloth grow bags, but I can't put them out yet. So why are we making a large container garden and not a raised bed garden? The answer is actually really simple. The container garden is almost free. The cardboard to cover the grass was free from family and friends. The straw, we had most of it left over as junk hay from last year. I had to buy one bale, so $7. The tires are also from friends and family who were more than happy to get old tires out of their backyard, so free. The tea posts we already had, free. The other containers, the cloth bags and large pots, we already had, free. The things that we did have to buy, I had to buy a roll of chicken wire, and that was $30 I believe in chicken wire. and. I am going to have to buy some dirt, which I would have had to do with either garden. I'm actually going to do a mixture of dirt from here. I'm leveling it out an area to make a strawberry bed, so there's going to be some fill dirt left there, some potting soil, and then I'm going to get some good topsoil and kind of mix that all together. So I don't have a total cost on the dirt for you, because I won't know until I fill out the containers, but I feel like that cost would be the true for anything and actually probably be a lot more for raised beds because they tend to be tall and deep. So overall we're doing this container garden expansion because I wanted the benefit of not having to weed more garden area without the costs of building raised beds, especially now with lumber prices having, you know, done some insane things, probably more than tripled. Uh, that just was not a good option for us right now. This is a great option. All right, that's it for today. We will definitely show you the whole planting process and keep you updated, just like we did with the greenhouse. Uh, next project coming up, we are starting a strawberry bed, but we're using landscape fabric for weed control, so we'll show you that design as well. Lots of new things that we're trying this year in the garden to help double even maybe triple some of our output from last year but without adding a lot of weeding to my daily to-do list thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you soon